All right, is this working? Hi guys, maybe the second time will be a charm here. It is a gloomy but warm day in paradise. The little dog and I have washed up in, I guess, Donellan, Florida. Still qualifies as a shred of paradise left in Donellan, Florida. I want to thank tribes member Brother Aaron for uh, offering me refuge from the oncoming storm for the next two nights so I can get out of get out of the rain and so it is now Friday February 1st 2019 we have survived the first month of 2019 amazingly beginning February and since it is Friday I'm simply doing what I do every Friday as the sun sets over the end times here on Friday February 1st 2019 and that's bringing you my weekly ecological meltdown roundup rant uh, where I simply open my email box to see how this planet has been heading directly into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour while I've been, whatever I've been doing, what have I been doing all week chronicling the collapse of the Everglades? Rhett Butlers and, and the boys and girls have been chronicling the collapse of the rest of the planet. And of course, I was down in the Everglades chronicling the collapse of the mangrove forest in the Everglades, while Manga Bay has been over in the Mekong River Delta, uh, bringing basically the same story, looking at all the threats to the Mekong's mangroves. And, uh, well, you do not see climate change showing as uh, they, they list the top two threats as rapid economic growth and illegal logging for fuel wood collection being the two biggest threats at least today to uh, the mangroves. Globally, the, the global mangrove forest in the last 50 years has shrunk by over half from 123,500 square miles 50 years ago to 57,900 and shrinking rapidly today. Okay, but then they go from the shit old country, I guess mostly Vietnam, over to the shit old countries of Peru and Brazil where we actually have a ray of good news, unbelievably, that, you know, Manga Bay is always tracking all of these goddamn uh, hydroelectric dams. Uh, but anyway, I guess one of these major planet, planet eaters, uh, Odebrecht, I anyway, uh, I guess are all in jail on corruption charges, blah, blah, blah. And so two, all but two of the 22 dam projects that were on paper at least have been abandoned, of course. Uh, now, of course, we have Bozo Naro in uh, in power, so I guess the, these goddamn Obradect planet eaters are just going to pass over their paperwork to these Chinese damn builders. But at least for now, uh, 20 of the 22 dams planned for the kind of right where the Andes come into the Amazon have been scrapped for now. But uh, as long as we're talking about Presidente Bozonaro, uh, the big question is will Bozo or will he not withdraw Brazil from the Paris Agreement? You know, keeps flip-flopping uh, on this. Now, of course, uh, as I have said a hundred times, one of the few things that Donald Trump has done to his credit is to withdraw from the Paris climate 
uh, agreement. For I mean, he withdrew for all the wrong reasons, as Bozo Nara will, but the bottom line is the Paris Climate Agreement is a fucking joke that's not going to do a goddamn thing on any level to save this planet. And uh, the, the more the planet just turns its nose up at this odious pile of dog shit called the Paris Climate Agreement, the better. I hope to hell Bozo Naro does pull Brazil out of the Paris Climate Agreement. It's a fucking joke, people. It's one of the Paris Climate Agreement is one of the dividing lines between the limp dick mainstream environmentalist and the eco-Nazi. The eco-Nazi has peeled back the layer of onion enough to know what the Paris Climate Agreement is. But anyway, I got to move on. Uh, yeah, for the No Shit Sherlock uh, headline of the week. Wildlife rangers in the Democratic Republic of the Congo report waning motivation and job satisfaction. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Waning job satisfaction for a wildlife ranger in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Thank you for the sick, twisted laugh, Rhett Butler. Anyway... And I actually saw this in the mainstream media at midnight last night. This is Manga Bay's story of it. Deadly disease and warming ocean are wiping out a key starfish species. No shit, Sherlock. The mysterious sea star wasting disease has called massive declines of the sunflower sea star, a major predator within kelp forest in the Northeast Pacific. I didn't realize there were any kelp forests left in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the widespread decline of the starfish, especially in deeper waters, has been particularly shocking because it means that the animals have not been able to take refuge in deep waters as people had expected. Yes, you will never believe that there is a strong correlation between the largest declines in the starfish star numbers and abnormally high sea surface temperatures, suggesting that warming oceans due to climate change could have exacerbated the disease's impact. Yes, the collapse of the sunflower sea star could have cascading effects on the ecosystem as the sea star is a major predator of sea urchins and without the starfish to keep a check on the urchin population, the urchins will feast on the kelp forest, leaving behind a barren seascape. No shit, Sherlock. I've been chronicling the barren seascape of the kelp forest for several years myself. Um, anyway, here's, uh, you know, I've, I've read similar stories to this, to this story, how cities could help conserve pollen, pollinator communities. More and more research is that it is actually the the ecos the urban ecosystem that big cities now are actually a healthier ecosystem for pollinators than out there in the countryside because of all of these goddamn uh, pesticides and herbicides, all of these neonics and this goddamn Roundup and all of this shit that the pollinators would rather take their chances in the middle of big cities than, than, than out in the boonies. 
Uh, and, and it's not just pollinators. I've been, you know, pointing out uh, on this trip around South Florida that there's a hell of a lot more wildlife in the middle of Austin, Texas, than there is in the fucking big cypress swamp nowadays. That more and more animals are finding refuge in big cities than uh, than out there in the boonies. We're completely fucked. Anyway, we were just hearing about warmer waters killing starfish. Wow. Warmer waters shrink krill habitat around Antarctica. No shit, Sherlock. A new study has found that fewer young krill are surviving to adulthood, uh, adulthood around Antarctica as ocean temperatures have risen in the Southern Ocean in the past few decades. Uh, where does it... Uh, anyway, now... I don't, I think this is a different study than talking about, uh, th this is something different than that uh, phytoplankton collapse study that, that Manga Bay has been talking about recently, talking about a 50% decline in all of these little critters uh, in the past four years up in the Arctic, and now what's bad for the Arctic showing up in the Antarctic. Uh, all right, guys, I know you will never believe this next story from the shithole country of Indonesia. Did you realize that environmental degradation exacerbates Indonesian flooding and landslides. No shit, Sherlock. Hmm. Looking at all of these disasters, uh, killing all these people uh, in Indonesia, uh, authorities have blamed the degraded conditions of the region's rivers and watershed for amplifying the scale of the disasters, which are also in turn exacerbated by climate change. Upstream mining and forest clearing for more farms are believed to have severely silted up the region's rivers, rendering them prone to spilling over during heavy rains. No shit, Sherlock. So let's go next door to the shithole country of Borneo, where you see just another way of saying the last headline, Borneo study explores the links between farm expansion and deforestation. Wow. A nearly two decades old study of land cover change in Borneo has identified a positive correlation between the loss of forest and the expansion of plantations primarily for oil palms. No shit, Sherlock. These findings undermine the long-held position of industry and government that plantation expansion does not contribute to deforestation. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Yes. Uh, anyway, where to next? Wow, I guess this is anywhere, uh, well, this is in the shithole continents of Africa and Asia, to tackle great ape trafficking, follow the money. Hmm, imagine that. Critically endangered great apes in Africa and Asia are hunted to be sold as pets for bush meat or for their body parts. Yes, a recent study of the trade reveals a complex system of multi-layered supply chains, embedded corruption, and soaring profits 
uh, money connected to ape trafficking runs through the global financial system. Ha, uh, imagine that. Okay, what is the latest, uh, worse than previously thought uh, story? Climate change is making waves stronger and putting coastlines at risk. No shit, Sherlock. According to research published in Nature Communications, the energy of ocean waves has grown over the past seven decades, which could have significant implications for coastal communities and the ecosystem. Ha! Huh. As the upper ocean has warmed, wind patterns have been affected globally, resulting in stronger ocean waves. Wow. Imagine that. Uh, all right. Wow. No shit, Sherlock. Viral video of endangered lemur made people want one as a pet. No shit, Sherlock. A viral video of a ring-tailed lemur released in 2016 triggered a common sentiment. Hundreds of clueless fucking morons tweeted about wanting to own pet lemurs. Mm -hmm. Did you know that viral videos like these can reinforce public interest in having wild animals as pets? Imagine. Uh, let's see. Moving on. The science of combating climate change misinformation. Researchers are increasingly looking into how to counter the climate science misinformation being fed to the public. And a study published in the journal Nature Climate Change, uh, looking at this, uh, I love it, public inoculation. Public inoculation. I guess we're going to be vaccinated against climate change deniers. Wow. In case you've been living under a rock, perhaps you are unaware that a dam holding mining waste has collapsed in Brazil. Yes. Uh... Anyway, I think this is a story uh, that will be repeated for years and years and years. As long as we're down there looking at the effects of developing the unproductive Amazon, let's look at how Bozo Naro is responding to the second major uh, dam collapse environmental disaster in the past three years. Bozo Naro government reveals plan to develop what it calls the quote unproductive Amazon. Yes, so uh, Brazil has announced new Brazilian mega infrastructure projects that include a dam on the Tom Betis River a new bridge over the Amazon River, and an extension of a major highway from the Amazon River through 300 miles of rainforest up to the Suriname border. Uh, there you go. The Trombetis region contains four indigenous reserves and five conservation units. 
There you go. So Bozanaro is getting to work creating future environmental disasters as a response to the latest environmental disaster in the shithole country of Brazil. What a surprise. Uh, let's see. Uh, I covered this one for Center for Biological Diversity last week. This is Manga Bay looking at marine mammal and sea turtle populations benefiting from the Endangered Species Act listing. But of course, with everything else going on, good luck to the embattled endangered species, the endangered endangered species act to keep doing its job. Okay. Uh, but you believe that um, that virtually all countries in the UN have at least one at least one environmental law or regulation in place. Wow, at least one per country, yet very few are in compliance with those laws. No shit, Sherlock. Despite hundreds of environmental uh, framework and protection laws on the books around the world. There remain alarming rates of deforestation, loss of biodiversity, rising global temperatures, and the targeting of environmental rights defenders. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Uh, wow. Unbelievable that the shithole country of Indonesia is still off pace for reforestation. Wow. Indonesia's efforts to reforest critically degraded land left over from mining, logging, and agricultural activities have fallen far short of the government's targets. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Uh, <laughs> good God. Anyway, well, we do have some good news, at least for right now. Three baby right whales have been born this year after a year of no babies. We have three baby right whales uh, being added to the global population. We will see if they ever see their first birthday. Uh, okay, we're now looking at new eth ethical questions abound as animal tagging goes cutting edge. Yeah, these poor, good God. Anyway, guys, I'm, uh, I've got a lot to do and I have an interview coming up. So I'm going to wrap up part one of this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant and come right back at you. We're going to move over to endangered earth and the Washington Post, but I'm going to restart that. We'll make two parts video. Smoke them if you got them.